Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2024.4 on VMware Workstation. First go to Kali official website that is Kali.org then download. See here we have the get Kali or download both are same. So click on either of them then see here we have different options. Okay. Click on installer images for the downloading ISO file for virtual machines you have to click on here. Click on installer images. See here we have the latest version Kali 2024.4. Okay. And if you want older religious, we have to click on Kali Linux religious. Okay. See here we have two options direct ISO download or download by using torrent link. Either is same. So click on this one to download. See download started. Go to downloads. See here its size is 4.1 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open. VMware Workstation. If you have installed VMware Workstation on your machine, then there is a link in the video description. You can go through it and you can install it. Click on it. Now click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new. Both are same. Then select typical or custom. Then select installer disk image file that is ISO and click on browse. Then go to downloads where you have the Kali Linux 2024.4 ISO file. Click on open. Then click on next. Then select type as Linux and version as Ubuntu 64 bit because we don't have the Kali Linux in this list. So click on next then provide the name for the virtual machine. Then choose the path to store this virtual machine files and folders by clicking on this browse button. Then click on next then provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. It is up to you based on availability. Then click on next. See this is the Summary of the virtual machine hardware information. If you want to customize, click on customize hardware. Okay. I'm okay with all these settings. Then click on finish. Still, if you want edit settings, you have to click on edit virtual machine settings. Or right click and select the settings. Or select select here and click on VM and select the settings. All three options are same. So, if you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. To start the installation of Kali Linux 2024.4 virtual machine on VMware. Click on it. Use up and down arrows and select the up first option that is GraphQL install. But you have the install advanced options accessible dark contrast installer menu install with speech synthesis. I am going with GraphQL install select it and hit enter. Now select the language and click on continue. Now select your location. See you can select your country from this list. But if it is not there select other. Okay. So I am ok with United States and click on continue. Then select language, continue. Now provide the host name. We can change the host name later also. Click on continue. I don't have any domain, so keep as blank and click on continue. Then we have to set up the user. So I'm giving username full name as R2Schools. Then click on continue. This is the username. Then click on continue. Now set the password for this account. Then click on continue. See now it has given the US time zones because we have selected country as United States. So I am going with Eastern. So click on continue. Partition disks I am going guided use anti disk. Then click on continue. It is up to you. Next that is continue all files in one partition. This is recommended for new users. Okay. So continue. We are okay with all these settings. Then select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue. Then this is a confirmation select yes that is write the changes to disks and continue. It is installing the base system. If you found this video is helpful please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. Select the desktop environment. By default it has selected XFC. If you don't want XFC and 
and select it and select the genome or if you want KDE plasma select the KDE plasma I am going with the default desktop environment then click on continue see installation has been started I am pausing this video Now install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. So select S1, click on continue. Select the device and click on continue. See installation is completed. See here installation is complete. So it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation. So right click on this virtual machine, go to settings, then CD, DVD, then unselect the checkbox, unselect the checkbox and click on OK. Now click on continue. Now provide username and password, then click on login. Now click on applications. See here we have different sections. In each section we have different applications. Okay, these are all used for pen testing and other cyber security purpose. Okay, now open terminal, click on it. Let me increase the font, file, preferences, then click on this font, then change it to 15, then click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. See, now font has been increased, now verify the version that we have installed, more slash, more slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed. Kali Linux 2024.4. Okay, Control L. Now verify IP of this machine. IF config. See, this is the IP of this machine. Okay, Control L. The first step after connecting to Kali Linux is we have to update the packages. sudo apt update then upgrade the packages. sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Then type I. See, it is going to upgrade 422 packages and installing 31 and the space required is 672 megabytes and this is the download size okay type and hit enter for confirmation see it is in progress this may take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install kali linux 2024.4 on vmware workstation for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you